the rice they brought in for us it was packed inside pure water nylon we were all packed like sandine inside the cell i'm telling you Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's literally your baby girl, Pepiana Coco, Perpetual, precisely. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Perpetual. So, on today's video, it's a story time about how your favorite baby girl got arrested. I know most of you be like, how did you get arrested? You don't look rough. You don't look like a troublemaker. So how, baby? How? Calm down. I'm going to explain to you. Take a chill pill. So this happened during COVID. Hmm. Your baby girl got arrested and was jam-packed in a tiny cell filled with pee on the floor. Even shit was on the floor. <laughs> Your baby girl was locked up. Oh my god, for 24 hours. Was it up to 24 hours? Okay, no, it was not up to 24 hours. But baby girl was locked up with her fellow slave queens and sugar daddies. Oh my god. Mm. So, yeah, going into today's video, if this is your first time here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Join this lead family. If you're a journey subscriber, thank you for always watching my videos and thank you for your support. I really do love you guys so, so much. So, going straight into the story, how it all happened it was during COVID, yeah. You know, school had shut down that period. So, I went back to where I used to work, where I used to work, and my boss just opened a new lounge that period which he had club he had bar he had so many things going on in the place yeah and they do run short of staff most of the times so he just comes to our company which is a station in first station presently yeah i've worked in the first station and i'm super proud of it you know what i'm saying so he comes to uh first station and picks some people he feels that like can handle that place so he picks like two or three of us and we go there to work so on that particular day it was you know it was lockdown and lockdown has a particular rule once it is i think was it seven or eight no uh, vehicle should be moving and no offices should be opened so um he said we would go and assist them in that place that he had a big event there was a big event that day so yeah i went there with the staffs that were selected and you know we had different sections we have the upper bar we had the main club and we had another section like the place was just section 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 we had the vip we had the vvip we had the open bar downstairs we had the open bar upstairs which was mixed with club strippers do come there most of the times then the vvip strippers are always there you know what i'm saying so i was initially at the open bar downstairs before i left for the vvip where i feel is more bubbling you know i'm saying where we have the strippers we have the big men with their babes some came with their wives and some came with their girlfriends so she was happening strippers were dancing i was helping serve drinks you know doing my you know me the good girl doing my job happily and so uh, we actually ran out of some particular drinks and i went downstairs to help the barman to bring some of the drinks on going downstairs you know you have to feel some kind of stuff so i was waiting for it to be my turn for the barman to pass to me so i'll take it to the vvip club section lo and behold i noticed people running i was like what's happening why are people running some started jumping first there was one lady that really shocked me this lady came with a mad car like i can't remember the car she came with but the car she came with wasn't for small girls but guess what this lady jumped fence this is my slave queen she was so fucking tall and beautiful she jumped fence i was like i was like what's happening i had to call my colleague i was like see people are jumping fence are running what is happening then one of them told me that there was a time police busted that place and they packed everybody to police station and they even moved them to kirikiri so people are scared it's going to happen again and they're running because they guess there was police outside so the next thing i noticed i saw two hefty men come into the building with guns like you know how police guns are like those big ones not those small small ones they came in with guns then that guy was like i should calm down there nothing is going to happen but this stuff happened the last time the boss shouldn't let this happen this second time i was like okay and me so i was like no wahala now my boss has connections and he has mouth so 
uh, all these people once they are done doing their stuff they're going to leave us and it's going to find a way to sort them out so i felt relaxed i didn't run so when police noticed people were jumping the fence they had to bring more police that were outside inside and they stopped a lot of people and they surrounded the whole building yeah so they went upstairs and they started packing the people in the vvip in the open bar section those those some people ran into the toilet too those people that ran into the toilet they received but people that didn't have where to run to that were in the vvip vip open bar blah 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 they packed everybody downstairs and they had like up to three police vans outside the building they started escorting the men first they packed the men at the back of the trucks the, the three trucks and the stuff got filled they went to the station they dropped them they came back because they had some police which was standby in the building and some was doing the going and coming so they came back to pick we they were still left behind they packed the complete set of men then they put in some ladies in the actual seats I actually love what they did they actually respected the women they they made the women sit inside the van with them the only thing is that they'll just tell you guys to like compress yourself you could even lap yourself inside the van but they don't let us stay at the back of the truck because if you know how police trucks are you know that you do have an open back where they do carry people most of the times but we ladies we sat inside so i was among the last people they carried so when they came to carry us that's the staffs and the, and the other people that were there we went inside my boss came I was trying to discuss with them i don't know what they were saying i was hearing some arguments the next thing my boss walked up to me and um, because my door was open i was scared of running out because the men around there they were with guns and if i'm thrown out where am i running to my boss came to me and was giving me a sign that she ran out of the car she ran out of the car <sighs> i'm a fear no green me that saw gun machine gun make they give me tour for my head I couldn't run out the next thing the police people came and they drove the remaining three trucks to the police station yes they didn't arrest my boss because number one he wasn't in the building at the time and i'm sure they wouldn't even still have arrested him even if he was in the building because all they wanted was to come and extort money from him obviously that's what they want so he has to be outside for him to be able to come and spend his money come and bail us and everything there but then fast forward we were taken to the police station here yeah? we need to see how plenty we were we were like sardine so they said people that want to leave that night they can pay seventy thousand naira for them to build themselves so people paid that a few people paid that seventy thousand naira and they build themselves then the rest of us we were told to write statements that's to write our names we wrote our names and they led us to the police cell where we stayed in men's section was different and women's section was literally different they gave men to sell women to to sell but guess what guess what the cell they gave us was so small like it looked like you know where four people would stay or like five people would stay that was where over 20 ladies because you no know, we're much so when they even divided us the, the space was still not even enough where i stayed oh my goodness P was on the floor inside the cell. I know Nigeria now. Nigerian things is always different. It's not normal. When you go to abroad now, their cells is always very neat. They even serve you good food. But this one, I think people that stayed there before us, because you know, when you feel like peeing, you wouldn't want to use the police toilet because of infection. You know, women were easy to contact infection. There was pee on the floor. There was catar. I even saw feces at the corner, dried one at that corner so when we were packed inside the inside the cell we we're like oh my god here yeah, is so disgusting we can't stay here it's so smelly everybody was standing trying to breathe properly and there was no means of ventilation except that normal door there was no window at the back for ventilation so we're literally choking for the first 10 to 20 minutes we got into the cell and there were so many slave queens that came for that event like so many big girls and all of them were packed but with their beautiful dress, their beautiful makeup, their nails, their hairs, we were all packed like sanding inside the cell. I'm telling you. So around like 20 minutes to 30 minutes, everybody got really tired of standing because we've been standing from night. You know, when you're in the club now, you'll be standing trying to vibe. So we've been standing the whole day. People that were like that, they cannot stay here. Everybody sat on the dirty floor that was filled with urine and disgusting sheets. We all sat on 
the floor of that cell then I was sitting on the floor of the cell people were still trying to like you know still trying to carry body next thing we noticed I was we were very hungry we were super hungry you know when you are clubbing you are drinking and, and and all of that so most of us were super hungry and we called the cell people to help us get food though I didn't come with money because I left my bag in the station people that came with money called them to help them get food or snacks so they said they could help them get snacks now what they do is when you tell them to help you get snacks let's say let's assume you want to buy gala gala is 15 naira or like you want to buy sausage sausage is 15 naira the hotel is 150 and you have no choice and give them that 150 to buy it for you so when you give them the money they buy the stuff for you and some people could afford it but they didn't have enough money to buy enough for themselves so we that could not buy anything most in fact most of the slave queens they could not buy anything they brought in a rice for us the rice they brought in for us it was packed inside pure water nylon do you know like when you buy a bag of pure water that's white bag that it puts your pure water in that was the one they just packed rice inside like half of the bag was filled with rice and they just gave it to us it had no meat it had it was looking like something they used red oil to cook but you know when hunger must have wiped you and wiped you and wiped you that you have no option <laughs> Nobody told us. I think they actually gave us like three spoon or four spoon. Everybody in that cell, both the both the Alaja wife that was there, Abi Kenny, Alaja wife that was there, both the slave queens, everybody, the staff, everybody ate from that nylon, and we all shared that three spoon. That's to show you that it was not funny. It was not a funny day for us at all. Then the next thing, they started demanding for our phones that we should drop our phone because they were going to take us to kirikiri very soon and anybody that doesn't drop their phone we're going to attract a higher penalty do you understand so people that were with their phone everybody goes came out of my phone because i called my mom to tell my mom what was happening so she could call my boss i handed my phone over to them so just one lady that refused to hand her phone she hid her phone she said she was not with her phone i think she had two phones here yeah? so she hid one and handed one over to them then every other person in the room handed their phone then the next thing we noticed was some people actually paid because they came and they said if anybody wants to leave now before they take us to kirikiri they should pay 50k so people that were scared even even the sugar daddies that came with their girlfriends that were in the second side some paid the 50k and left their girlfriend they didn't pay for their girlfriend why if you paid for their girlfriend then that part then there was one particular girl that was making the sale very very funny she was so funny cracking jokes making everybody laugh since money though we're hungry and all of that she actually called someone since she was with her phone she called someone the person came and paid her 50k for her then she left us and her friend because her friends so who actually came with her so we're still i think we're left with like 22 girls inside the cell because we we're above 20 initially i think we we're around 25 27. then the men too they were still there we we're all waiting for my boss to come and bail us because literally that's what was going to happen so we were there oh, from morning you know till evening i think around five six that was when they came and they bailed us which wasn't even long after those girls and some sugar daddies build themselves because you know nigeria now they want to put pressure apply pressure so that you guys would bring your money spend your money and all of that but we that broke someone like me where i say 50k we say i, I won't build myself instead i was staying that cell till my boss come and build me but literally definitely i knew he was going to come and sort the bills that this was not just only me now i had other staffs there and his customers were there you get what i'm saying so he came paid the bills and we got bailed. There's some of the sugar daddies that could not afford to pay got bailed. Some of the young guys too and the men. But then most of the men sorted themselves out. Most of the men sorted them, themselves out. It was mainly ladies that were left in the cell. Because the percentage of men that came in drastically reduced than the percentage uh, that left you know i'm trying to say so that was how it happened though that was how we got arrested and uh, that's how we got released <laughs> so nigeria they, they don't care if you're a slave queen or you're not a slave queen once you do shit they will bundle you you know what i'm saying so guys hope you guys enjoyed this story time if you did please don't forget to hit that red subscribe button join this lit family i really do love you guys bye